new update has hit for Amazon's New World MMORPG, which the developer says is primarily about fixing the top issues players have been hitting in recent weeks, not least the fact that the server transfer option is back after lasting less than a day last time around. First and foremost, Outpost Rush is being enabled. This is a 20v20 battle where players get to try and take over strongholds and strategic resources and can be played solo or with a party of five. There are three upgradable outposts and the gameplay in Outpost Rush includes building cannons which offers something different to the rest of the experience. Elsewhere, Everfall has been removed as a starting location in an effort to funnel players through the other three locations and give more of a chance for friends to be able to start the game on different locations but meet up quickly and play together. Then there's the first house discount which reduces the purchase price but does not reduce taxes, however the interface for the game actually suggested that taxes would be reduced, so in order to make amends anyone who bought a house before this user interface fix was implemented will get 2000 coins in form of compensation. And economy has actually been a hot topic within New World, as players are suggesting that there's simply not enough money in the game to actually support stable economic activity, but the developer is suggesting that it's all working within acceptable levels and that all servers are actually producing more money than is being removed. Lastly, of major note, server transfers are back on the cards. Previously, after adding them, whereby you can get one free player transfer from world to world, they were almost instantly pulled back out. So this time, hopefully it stabilizes and people can meet up with their friends when they didn't start on the same server. For more on New World and for what's new and what's next, head to nme.com.